freedom friends all these stories about Easter and Easter eggs is making me think that we need to do a Easter egg craft so we are gonna need um, some paper and so uh, here's some examples that I got either something out of the mail which is that advertisement or maybe out of a magazine I like these colors and so I wanted to we'll see if we can use that um, or even just a piece of paper that has some typing on it that's not important uh, or maybe advertisement for your favorite pizza place so just some options that you can play with today um, see what works best for you and how you can use it and so we'll also need some scissors, some markers, some tape or glue. You don't have to have that, but it will help with one of the eggs we're making. And then some crayons uh, and or color pencils, uh, anything that you can make some color with. So let's start. So one of the first things I did was find a shape that I really liked. And so this is an egg shape and I made a template out of some cardboard. So this could be either from a cereal box or from um, a pizza box or anything that has a little bit more of a sturdy um, paper will be helpful. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this paper that I have that I sort of like the colors with and I'm going to find a spot that I, I think is going to look nice. So let's see here. There's that side or this side. I think this side is going to be the better one. Okay, and I'm going to lay down my template and I'm going to use a pen um, and I am going to uh, make an outline of my shape. Okay, so there's my egg shape. And then I'm going to cut it. Okay, so there is that piece. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it um, like this. And it doesn't have to be all the way exactly. There's a piece here that's going to be longer than the bottom piece. And that's okay because it's an egg shape. And I'm going to fold it like this and then I'm going to start making some cuts into it. But I'm going to, instead of just going straight, I'm going to make some zigzags or not zigzags, some twirls in it. Be careful that you're not going to the end too much. You can, well, I'll show you in a moment. So just cut a piece. Even if you don't cut very far, if you're scared, you're going to cut too far. And then we're going to go this round and here. Don't cut too close to the sides, leave a little bit of space on the side. We're going to open this up now and we are going to actually cut a little bit closer to the edge. Not all the way through, so be very, very careful with this part. If you need help with scissors, please make sure to ask a doll to help you. And you want to leave just a little bit of space up there, um, about the thickness of a pencil. And so we're going to go up here. And up here, almost to the top, and this one. And here. And you're gonna do the same at the bottom piece of your egg. So just go a little bit closer to the edge. Be careful, don't go too far. Okay, I think that's gonna be enough. So I have these strips of paper some um, they have lines on it but I'm, I'm going to use some of the lines but some of them just with plain strips but you can use any of your your newspaper clippings that you have um, you can add this into here too and so we we'll start with the first one and we're just going to put it in right here sort of in the middle um, and we're going to go um, from the top to the bottom and come up and down and up 
and down and so we're weaving into this egg okay and so there is the first one in and I'm gonna push it towards the bottom as far as I can and so there is my my first line okay and then I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna see what this one looks like I'm not sure how it's gonna look like um, I might change but so I'm gonna take it so this one's at the top so this one has to go to the bottom so take it in the bottom and we are gonna put it through I just keep on making them go top and bottom and top and bottom okay and then we're gonna put down our egg and we're gonna make this go down and we're gonna shimmy those in there okay and then I'm gonna take my paper again and I am gonna um, use a white side again I think this pattern is gonna be good so we had one at the top and one at the bottom so this one is going to the top. There we go. So at the top, I'm going to just put it in. And you can just, the easiest way it goes through for you, you can do that. Okay. And I'm just going to make it go down a little bit because I don't want to create too much space. Okay. And then I'm going to take one again and I am going to let it go through here again so and so we have one at the top one at the bottom one at the top so this one's going to go to the bottom the so top bottom top bottom top bottom top bottom so this one is going to go from the bottom go to the bottom so top and the bottom um, and we are going to use some stripes so I'm going to take it and put it in up and top and up and down and up and down And I think we're good okay so that's your egg now so what you want to do is if you have some glue you will glue the pieces or you will use some tape so you can take a piece of tape um, about the length of your egg um, and you can just right in the middle just stick it there to make sure that none of your pieces can come out okay or if you only have glue you can take the glue and you can lift the end pieces and just put a little bit of glue and stick it on and take a little bit there a little bit there and stick it on <laughs> glue everywhere and here and stick it on and this one and stick it on okay or and go this way and glue it and glue it and glue it Glue it and glue it. Okay, so now again, your pieces are nice and tight. Okay, look how beautiful! Nice. Take your scissors 
and very carefully cut on the edge. And there we have it, our first egg for the day. Then I'm going to piece, take this piece of mail that um, was in the trash and I am going to cut out, I'm actually going to get ready to make two. So I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to put one over on this side. And I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so now I have two egg shapes and I'm going to use um, just as, oh, yum yum, a nice pizza. I'm just going to take uh, one of our markers um, or you can use your crayons um, and I am just going to color this in. Okay, so there's an egg and then on this one I'm actually going to make um, some patterns, so... Just leave it like this and this could be your craft. Or you can do the following. So you can take your craft and you can fold it in half. and fold it in half and fold it in half and fold it in half okay. so we're going to take our first one and we're going to take our glue or our tape and take it and we are going to glue so you want to make sure that your lines are matching up nicely. Okay. Make sure that it's nice and straight. Okay. Then what you're going to do is take this one and you're going to glue on this side. So just going to glue this one side. So we're going to take it and we are going to put it right next to this one. Okay. So right in there. Okay. Let's say you're working with some tape. Um, this is how you would do it with the tape. So you'll take a little piece and you will take your egg and you will put the tape in there. Be careful not to stick it to any other pieces of paper. You want to sort of do it in the air. Make sure it's nicely on there. Okay, and then take your egg that you have left and you are going to match it up. So just like we did with the glue, 
Except this time you are just gonna put it there and now it's part of your egg, okay? But now you have this odd piece and so what you'll do is you'll grab another piece. This one can be tiny and you'll take it and you can put your two pieces together. So all the pieces that we used the glue for to stick together, we just taped it together now. And so here we have another one. And so we'll just take another teeny tiny piece. We'll take it and we will just tape these two sides together. Okay. Okay. And this is how you can make a really fun 3D egg.